welcome back to Changzhou for finals day at the Victor China Open. Next up is women's singles and quite clearly the best two players in the world so far this year. Han Se Young, the newly crowned world champion in her 12th final in only her 13th tournament of the year, is up against Akane Yamaguchi, the two-time former world champion. So as far as the women's singles draw is concerned, by quarter-final stage, we had six different nationalities and six seeds, three seeds in each half of the draw. The two-time defending champion, Carolina Marin, uh, had to play against Tai Su Ying in a repeat of the 2019 uh, final, but a reverse result because Tai Su Ying came through to the semi-final stage. The top four seeds in the semi-final, four different nationalities, and those same four players in the semi-final of a third uh, Super 1000 event this year. And these four really have been a uh, dominant wonder they're dubbed the Fab Four. Well, as far as the women's singles race to the World Tour Finals is concerned, Anse Young will have an invitation as world champion anyway. But whether she wins or loses today's final, she will, will remain at number one, and Ekana Yamaguchi will remain at number two. I think Chen Fei and Carolina Marin will probably both move up one place. Tai Su Ying, the other semi-finalist, is down at 15 at the moment, but I think she'll probably move in to the top 10. World number one, the newly crowned world champion, Han Se Young of Korea, is having the most unbelievable year in 2023. Her 12th final in her 13th tournament of the year. Eight titles she's won so far this year. Kani Yamaguchi, the two-time former world champion, in her first final here in Changzhou, her sixth Super 1000 tournament final so throughout her career. And it's a milestone for Akane Yamaguchi today because it's a 40th career final. She's only 26 years of age. Mind you, I'm so young. There's in her 31st. She's only 21. Well, as you can see, this is a 21st meeting between these two players. So the last two meetings were actually won by the Korean Young. Who so has won the toss of the coin and has chosen ends. The last time they met was the final of the Singapore Super 750 event. 2 World Championship medals because part of the gold in Copenhagen two weeks ago was brought to this last year where she lost to her opponent of today in the semi-final. Akane Yamaguchi from Katsuyama City Looking at the tournament 
Ladies and gentlemen, we look at them. On my right, on say Young Korea. And on my left, Akane Yamaguchi, Japan. Akane Yamaguchi to serve, love all, play. So the two time former world champion. Akane Yamaguchi of Japan getting this final underway against the new world champion and new world number one. So many similarities one, uh, Steve, between these two, both being former world number ones, uh, both had a world title, at least one world title, uh, both playing today in their sixth Super 1000 tournament final. Yeah, that's right. Service over. Well, we One. saw it was a 21st All. meeting between these two players. It's a 10th meeting in a final. Fifth time they've met in a final this year. Two all in finals so far this year. Two wins apiece. Two players that uh, Ante Young has a losing head-to-head -head record against when playing more than one match. No one to new play. Service over. Two, it's one. Active players because there is one more player she's got a losing record against, but she's sitting at her coaching chair, Sung Ji Hyun. Given the fact that Anne is a bit um, younger. Well judged. There's a good chance that there's service over in a year or so that there's no players who has a losing record against. That would be amazing. She's had the upper hand against Yamaguchi the last couple of times. I, I feel this match could be closer. What the accumulation of yes. uh, not only physical tiredness after the world championships, but mental and emotional tiredness. Yeah. Three and uh, two. lots of strapping on uh, the legs of um, Anse Young. Yes, both knees not heavily strapped. Overdone it. And she played three games against Han Yue. Service over. In China, also three. a player who uh, oh. moves really well on court, super quick on her feet. So uh, I feel Yamaguchi is um, not totally fresh, but, but she's looking much better than um, 
than she's done in a period where she looked really uh, a spent force in terms of comparison with the uh, three, four best uh, in the world. Because four, I mean, she's still a force in terms of the perhaps eight to to 20 uh, players in the world uh, rank, but but she looked a little bit tired when um, when she played the ones where she needed to be fresh. Service over for all. That's a shocking return. Six, yeah. four. A lot of easy points here in the opening of the match for and, and, Ansi Young. and given what we've just been saying, that she might have an accumulation of tiredness, um, that's almost criminal, isn't it? You can't yeah. give away cheap points like that. You've got to work her. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect from Ansi Young. Seven, four. Great control. She's hitting with the drift, and that was perfection. Five straight points Eight, for Anse Young. Four. Lovely angle. Service over. Nine. And because she five. moves so smoothly and gets behind the shot, she's got the options. She could yeah. have hit it straight down the line, choosing to go cross court on that occasion. And so far, judging from what's happened in the match here, uh, Yamaguchi hasn't looked. Um, Comfortable at all. I don't know if Service it's over. nerves or Six, extra uh, respect for her opponent. What it is, it, she's just not looked um, comfortable. Brilliant shot. Basically, a super good rally for, for Yamaguchi because I also think that it's in her interest to. Uh, I mean, I think she must win the first game, but I also think it's preferable for her if it's a long first game that she's winning. Bides her time Ten. in the rally. Seven. Say young. Very similar in a way to the way Chen Long, former World and Olympic men's singles player from China, used to play. 
I said the exact same thing yesterday. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, great minds think alike, Steen. Yeah. Way in. And 11, it is seven, the current world champion, Anse Young, who has the advantage at the mid game interval. A four point advantage against Akane Yamaguchi. Eleven seven. Well, it was a super rally to take us to the mid-game interval. Longest rally of the match so far, 33 shots. Young. That's exactly what you can do, this one here. Playing up against the drift, that would be suicide. But here, you get a little bit of help. Makes it long enough. So the shot from Yamaguchi was suicide then? No, no, no. The one Anse Young played, if you played that playing up against the drift... Yeah, but the, uh, Yamaguchi played exactly the same shot back. Yeah. 14. And it was suicide. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. very, very difficult. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see what shot she played. <laughs> yeah, she she played cross court yeah. as well, trying to do the cross court drive clear. Oh. Service over. Eight fourteen. It's a cheap point Nine, for Yamaguchi. She'll take it. Beautiful. Service over. Yeah, it seems to me as if Yamaguchi isn't 15, using the full width nine. of the court with her attacking shots. Uh, look at this, it's only... Yeah. A little sort of half step for Anse Young to get that back. And that, I guess she's doing it because she doesn't want to open up the court and give her opponent the opportunity then of finding did. angles. But she's finding angles anyway. Yeah, and then she can hit the body. But, it, I mean, it's 16, not like we've seen Yamaguchi uh, at 100% here for some reason. I don't know, uh, I don't know what, whether it's... Uh, mental or physical or anything but um, but she has no chance whatsoever 17 9 well, not playing right there she needs to pull herself together oh dear oh dear 18, she's playing the better nine. end remember for singles players 
Yamaguchi. This is very, very concerning if you're a Yamaguchi fan. That's delightful. Well, she's on cruise control Nine. at the moment, Nine. Tansa Young. Nine. And uh, uh, it's not fun for the uh, player at the receiving end of this lesson here to be on court. And sometimes you just wish the uh, green mat would open up and you can disappear. Game point opportunities. Game point. A whole host Nine. of them for Anse Young. There's a challenge called out. If she's correct, it's the open game. If she's not correct, I think it's just delaying the inevitable. Yeah, good call, line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 10 20. Play. Opening game, game. 21 10. First game, total, by Anse total Young. dominance 21 10. by Anse Young. Second game, love all, play. Well, somehow Yamaguchi needs to pick herself up, change her game plan and believe in herself. But that won't help, help her state of mind. One, love. You think there must be something wrong with her, Steen? Uh, at least what I can see is that she's not playing at any pace that's going to be um, competitive here. She's, she's basically retrieving all the time and, and not even as good as we know that she can retrieve. Love.
That's delightful. Yeah. Good shot. Service over. One, two. Of course, Akane Yamaguchi has an opportunity to complete a career Grand Slam of the regular or current Super 1000 tournaments. He won the 2019 Indonesian Open, 2022 All England, and the Malaysian Open earlier this year. So the only one missing of the Super 1000 events is the China Open. It seems to me that Three, Ansei Young is a step two. towards the shuttle before it's even been yeah. hit. She's yeah. reading the game so incredibly well. She is. Yeah, for once. Service off over. Guard. Three, all. Oh. Over four. The game reading three. is something about realizing what your opponent has of opportunities, given the amount of pressure they're under. So what you've seen before, knowing their abilities, and sort of uh, monitoring that real time, having the guts to um, go with what your read is. Service over. That's a wonderful Four. controlled shot oh. from Yamaguchi. Considering she's hitting with the drift. That was absolutely perfect. Service over. Five. Four. Perfect. Service over. Six. Five. This punch clear. Disguise clear. Played to perfection. here because she's got Seven. trouble playing the back court Five. and um, Anse Young has got so much uh, touch and control from the mid-court area. It's going to be very, very difficult, I suspect. Ah, that's a good return of serve. Tight Service spinning net shot. Six, seven. Seven, all. 
Everyone so wants the court locked. Eight, seven. Slight slip as she tried to lunge forward there. Still don't have dedicated court attendance. Well, so we have to wait for yeah. the court attendance to get back to Nine, position on seven. the line. Yeah, doubling up as a line judge. Oh, that's just so wonderfully controlled her whole Ten, movement it's not just the seven. shot her movement forwards she's in perfect balance and poise and it's so delightful to watch the mid-game interval 11, on a run of four seven, straight points interval. from 7 all to 11-7. Eleven seven play. So and so young, very much looking in control. That's a beauty from Yamaguchi. Service over. Eight eleven. because of it. 12, 8. What would you have said to Yamaguchi in that coaching break? Because it's, you know, well, we're more than halfway through this uh, second game now, so yeah. she's got to do something different. She's, she's got to be able to up the pace. Uh, <coughs> if she can't do that, then, so, uh, so then it's going to be um, Nine. sort of where you try to scramble Twelve. and see if you can... Um, Score some easy points. So let's say she's not able to up the pace, then you uh, you go for tight spinning net shots. So perhaps uh, hope that that you can uh, score some points there. Uh, Service over. Have to try and play the, uh, 13, the drift nine. to your advantage. Some cross clears. Um, see if you can uh, get the right length on that, and and you've got to attack and and uh, go for the follow ups. Because, I mean, in, in that pace in general, I don't think she's going to be a threat to, to answer your So over. The other option is, of course, to, um, to raise the pace and, um, and attack a bit more. It would be to, um, to try and get the initiative from the um, service situation if she's returning. A little bit of a deception on. Um, good variation between the net and the backcourt. And then, uh, otherwise, keep on piling the pressure. Hope that uh, Anne plays a little bit too short. Did well to get yeah. behind that. Eleven, thirteen. It seems like she has to sort of 
economize with the um, with the energy. Service over. 14, 11. Just wide, and at least she was going for the line. 15, Previous attacking 11. shot from Yamaguchi was what I would call virtually down the middle. Yeah. Oi, did she slip again? Yeah. Service over. 12, 15. Yeah, good use of the body smash. Thank Well, Yamaguchi must now believe in the comeback. It's only two points in it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Was that three or four attempts to put it away? One, two, 14, three. Four! My goodness! One point in it. Beautiful block. Oh, that's a lucky one from Akane Yamaguchi. Anse Young, Young is challenging. I saw that as in. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, that was on the line. Hansa Jung has uh, sort of uh, dropped in pace in her game and initiative and so on. It looked like smooth sailing. I think she needs to uh, take a bit more initiative here. Thank you. Good pictures. Five of the last six points to Yamaguchi. And back level. Oh, 
Yeah. Well played. Yeah, and that's a much better attacking shot. Just found some good lengths as well. and long of the back line. Service over. 17 all. the reaction to the error from Yamaguchi. 17. She knows that was an opportunity and could be very costly. A big miss by Asa Young. Oh, that's gone wrong too. Service over. 19, 19 all. all. Will it be a game point or a match point? This rally to, to answer that question. <laughs> Missed it. That is a cheap point for Anse Young. And it is a match point opportunity for the world number one to win a ninth title of the year. Shot. Yeah. And she's done it. 21 10, 21 19 in 37 minutes. Well, Yamaguchi did awfully well to come back from a five point, a four point deficit at 11 15 down. Came back to lead. 17-16 but there is no doubting that Aung Se Young is on a path that could take her to greatness nine titles in her 12th 
Wells final in only her 13th tournament of the year. Those statistics are simply extraordinary. Confirmation of the scoreline. 37 minutes. This is the final rally. The disappointment for Yamaguchi. Delight for Anse Young. decades, Dean, we've been enjoying a golden era of women's singles where any one of eight to ten players could win any tournament. Yeah. So come 2023, uh, I think that it's basically been one of these two, but more and more, Anse Young. Any seven can go to the final <laughs> and play Anse Young. Yeah, that's the way it's been. The only time she failed to reach the final was the Indonesian Open when she lost in the semi-final to the Olympic champion, Chen Fei. Well, at the end of last year, she took time out, did Unsei Young, because she had a stress fracture in her right ankle, and she decided to re rehabilitate rather than surgery. And I think perhaps the time away from competition where she could focus on getting her body right, focus on uh, working on certain aspects of skills in yeah. her game, I think it's actually paid dividends. I, I think it has. I think it has. And she's, um, she's younger and fresher than um, a number of the other players in that group of eight. Yeah. The Fab Four delivered once again in the semi-final. Top four seeds, obviously the two we've just watched, plus the Olympic champion, Chen Fei and Tai Su Ying, the fourth. And the Fab Four are really becoming quite regulars in the semi-finals. Yeah. Rachinuk Intanon, who was the catalyst, I thought, at the golden era of women's singles by winning the gold medal at the World Championships in 2013. She sadly had to pull out of the tournament, and I think from the looks of things, she's beginning to struggle a little bit more. Her body is breaking down, perhaps with the years of training. I saw it with uh, Natsumi Okuhara also, who had a tough time coming back once uh, down with injury. It's not easy. No. third time this year that Akane Yamaguchi has had to settle for second best. But it was the seventh final of the year, which in itself is pretty impressive. But nothing 
has been quite as impressive as this young lady, and so young. A ninth title in her 12th final of the year. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't see Yamaguchi. There we go. Outstanding this year, and so young. Well, three finals so far, and the reigning world champions winning those three finals. Yeah, confirming. Yeah. Our next final, though, so, is men's singles, and it features the Olympic champion and world number one, Victor Axelsen of Denmark, up against Lu Guangzhou of China.
back to Guangzhou Changzhou for finals day here at the Victor China Open. Three finals completed, and next up is men's singles. And it is the reigning Olympic champion and world number one, Victor Axelsson of Denmark.